Okay, so I've sanded a bunch of them and um, painted them so that they don't look brown anymore. Primed them with some white and I think they look okay. They're not perfect. This little guy has a puffy cheek, but I am okay. And I'm willing to, to try and see if they work. And hopefully they do. So yeah. guys I'm um, just wanted to fill you in on what I'm gonna do in a minute I have uh, I have a ton of stuff on my desk look at this so I've got a bunch of earrings that I'm working on I've set them all together to see to show so I don't forget which ones go together and I've been painting them in the batch like painted all the red parts at once painted all the you know, green at once, that kind of thing. Just to make it easier. I can't believe I have this many. Look, this is all the brochures and keychains. This is my daughter's stuff. These are all the earrings I'm working on here. And then there's more right there. And don't look at all my mess because I just got back from the show yesterday and I haven't put my studio back together. Anyway, um, so, oh, just in case you're wondering why I'm always yawning and tired and have messy hair and whatever in every video, it's because I wake up super early to try and balance being a mom and being a business owner. And so I just get up really early so that I can do everything when everybody's still asleep. And then I don't have to feel like I'm sacrificing one for the other. That's my attempt at trying to find a balance and it's working pretty good. <sighs> to be completely honest, I struggle because I am um, the kind of person who's like a one-track mind. And so when I'm like, ah, I want to make these earrings, then I have a tendency to want to work on them all day. But hopefully the waking up early will satisfy that need to work on that. And then I'll be able to to do family stuff. Also, one of the things I need to work on um today i'll just give you my to-do list i need to sign up for vintage market days which is a um arts and crafts slash uh, antique um show where they have i'm sure if you looked it up if you didn't already know what it was it's like a nationwide thing but they have different shows locally in each state almost each state and the the local one in my area is actually quite close. It's only 20 minutes away, so that's a venue I really want to be part of. I've gone year after year as a patron, and I adore it, and I love it. And so I want to sign up for that, so I need to do that. I need to finish these earrings, 
and I want to start working on, which I'm really late, if you think about, like, when retail people start getting ready for Halloween, it's probably in like April and then they put it out right now. And so I'm a little late trying to get ready for the Halloween stuff now, but I am just gonna go with what I have and make it a point to not stress myself out and feel fine.
Yep. Makes me so happy. Look, all my pinks, peaches, and whites. All my reds, browns, and oranges. Blacks and grays. Turquoise and greens. The ones <laughs> I don't have very many blues and yellows, but that helps me know that um, I'll probably run out of these really soon because yellow is one of my favorite colors. Um, so it's really nice because I didn't know. This is all my, I call it whole wheat because my brain never works. 100% um, wool, and this is all 100% cotton. Oh, I'm so excited. It's all sorted. 